Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shally, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Nice to see you. Today, we're gonna talk about just a couple different things that I have done and that you could easily do any day, any time that will genuinely improve your life. I know a lot of people are busy and you know, work, job, husband, kids, wife, school, this, like just so much stuff, but it's like, you can make room. Like there's 24 hours in the day and you can make room. Maybe you could stop scrolling on your phone for a little bit, you know, take that one, two, three hours of scroll time and go do these things. And that will actually bring you joy. That will actually make you happier and more fulfilled and just like I said help you to improve your life and just live a better life so the first thing I started doing to improve my life was going on walks and I know it sounds so simple and it sounds like okay so cliche but I'm not kidding going on walks literally changed my life for the better I saw this meme one time and it was like do you need to take ayahuasca or do you need to just go on a daily walk in your neighborhood <laughs> because I'm telling you the epiphanies I be having, like the synchronicities I come across, like just being emerged in nature, submerged, emerged, whatever. Being in nature is literally like a healing situation, a he healing experience on its own. So when you're going on a walk, whether you're taking your dog on a walk or going yourself or just going with a friend, just going on a walk and being in nature is so 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 soul nourishing and even if you're not in a forest like a nature walk just like literally walking on the sidewalk in your neighborhood is going to do wonders i will have talks with myself i talk to myself all the time like that is how i just have overcome so much in my life i recommend honestly though going on walks by yourself because it gives you like me time time to be by myself with my thoughts and to release it because like I'll speak to myself I'll speak out loud if I'm having epiphanies about things or I'll like question things or seriously sometimes I come across stuff in nature or like even when I'm passing people and I got interaction and I'm like I don't know it's just there's just so much I learn about myself and the world and life just literally by going on walks and then being in nature literally charges us up that's why we love to be outside because being amongst the trees and the oxygen and the flowers and the plants and just wherever is just amazing it's literally amazing and honestly i like going on a walk in the mornings like i think it's really nice to start my day going on a walk just like get my day going to start my day and i have a dog so i take her on walks and it's just it's great but to be honest to be honest an amazing time to go on a walk is at sunset for a multitude of reasons one it's beautiful like it's literally beautiful to watch the sunset as you're on a walk but if your sleep schedule is kind of off like your circadian rhythm's kind of off it's hard for you to fall asleep at night you might fall asleep later what you can do to combat that is go on a walk as the sun is setting because our eyes our bodies are like our eyes observe the sun going down like the light going down and that sends a signal to our bodies to our brains like okay it's nighttime it's time to get ready for sleep let's release melatonin right and then so then when our bodies release the melatonin then we start to our bodies start to wind down and we start to get sleepy earlier and then we fall asleep earlier as opposed to being inside with bright overhead lights on until 10 p.m at night your mind your brain your body still thinks it's light out because it sees that it's like the sun it sees that as light and finally when you start to turn off the lights whatever that might be at midnight you know or like whatever time then your body's like oh okay now it's time to release melatonin but then by the time you've actually wound down to go to sleep it's three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and if you just start to go on a walk when the sun is setting then your body will get on like a natural circadian rhythm release melatonin at the same time every single day and then you will fall asleep around the same time every single day wake up at the same time and then you'll just feel more refreshed so i believe going on a walk at sun set is it's literally incredible like it's changed my sleep it's changed my life like i just feel so much more refreshed i do both honestly like i'll go on a walk in the morning and i'll go ahead just because like i like going on a walk it's just it's incredible the next thing do you have any hobbies are there things that you like to do that you actually do outside of work or school or like whatever your primary obligation is like or if you have kids what are your hobbies do you like to cook do you like to play sports do you like to make things like what do you like to do other than literally just watching tv right or watching netflix or doom scrolling like what do you like to do having hobbies is such i don't even want to say escape because i don't and not necessarily an escape it's like a it's necessary <laughs> Having hobbies is literally necessary because what do you do for fun? When I meet people and I'm talking to them, I never ask people, what do you do for work? Like, I just don't. I, I, a lot of people don't even really like their jobs. They're literally at their jobs just to make money. And like, I don't really care about that. So like when I ask people, I say, what do you do for fun? Like, what do you like to do? What are your interests? That's literally what I ask people because that, first of all, gets, helps me to get to know the person even more. And second of all, like people love 
talking about the things that they love to do and they love just like connecting with people because it's like what if you meet somebody and it's like yeah they might be an accountant but then they also write music and like you write music so it's like you guys can connect on that because it's like you guys have similar hobbies you know so um having hobbies is incredible i love gardening like as you can tell like i have plants there this is like a fraction of the plants that i actually have i have a forest of fruit trees growing right over here i love gardening so 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 much it is literally not only is it nature right so it's like the nature aspect but it's just like it fulfills me so much and like you know i'm growing all these fruit trees and maybe one day i will grow them all and then like sell the fruit or sell the trees or do whatever but as of right now like i'm gardening for me because i just love it i love watching the plants grow and planting the seeds and nurturing them and like pruning them and all like I just love it it's so much fun to me and then so like if I'm ever feeling not even bored I incorporate my hobbies into my everyday life or at least every week and that just makes me so happy it's something to look forward to outside of the mundane like normal things that we have to do or I guess I should say we get to do because we get to do these things we don't have to like we get to do them right so I love gardening and it is just it's an amazing hobby I also like cooking like I love cooking really wonderful nourishing beautiful meals like I just love it I cooking is an art to me it really is like I've ever made something and you're like damn that's pretty I'm about to eat it but it's pretty <laughs> so I love cooking I love gardening I just love I love doing things like that and having those hobbies just makes me so happy like even just talking about it right now and I'm literally looking at my plants I was just working with my plans and stuff right before I filmed this and I just love it. It's it's seriously, seriously amazing. So if you don't have any hobbies, look it up. If you like to do, you know, more stuff like around people, like you maybe sports, like you want to do like tennis or pickleball or like a kickball league or something like that. I'm sure there's things in your area that you can sign up for and go to different classes, go to Pilates classes, go to kickboxing classes, like whatever. Exercising is your hobby. Like find a way to do something that you genuinely enjoy and something that like, you're not judging yourself for you don't feel like you have to get it perfect or or you have to it's it's all dependent on how you're making money and it's like because don't get me wrong doing what you love and making money from that is amazing but it's also nice to be able to do something else that you love with no pressure like no pressure at all like it doesn't matter really necessarily how it comes out or like it has to be a certain caliber or it's like it's your livelihoods depending on it just having a hobby purely for fun is amazing the next simple way that you can improve your life is to eat healthier I know, I know. Everyone's like, eat healthy, be healthy. But I'm serious. Like, I'm so serious. Once I started eating healthier and paying attention and being intentional about the foods that I was putting into my body, my entire life changed. Because first of all, your gut and your mind are connected. Mind, body, connection, right? So whatever you eat is directly going to affect the way you think. So if you eat like shit, you are going to feel like shit. And then you are going to think like shit. So a lot of the times when people are anxious and depressed, and have a lot of things going on something that could really alleviate a lot of those symptoms and help you to feel better or if you're fatigued and things like that something that could help you to feel better is to eat healthier because when you eat whole foods like fruits vegetables grains nuts like things like that or if you're drinking teas and herbs and when you're in incorporating those whole natural great foods into your body it's going to fuel you up it's going to make you feel great it's just going to naturally have you thinking more positively thinking more optimistically because have you ever heard of your gut instinct why do you think it's called your gut instinct it's it's linked okay so if you're always eating fast food and you're always eating processed foods and lots of sugars and drinking lots of alcohol and just like not taking care of your body feeling super sluggish and stuff that's why first of all when you start eating better and you start eating healthier foods you don't need to eat as much much. like I realize this when you eat like for instance if you go to Burger King or you eat like a bag of chips it might be like a lot of food but it's a lot of empty calories so it doesn't nourish you it doesn't fill you up and then in a very short amount of time you're hungry again so then you go and eat that crappy food again and it's like the same cycle so you're just getting a lot of like empty calories and you're not feeling full but you're just like packing yourself with more food that's also making you feel run down and sluggish and just really like down and out it's not good but when you eat a really nourishing like i don't know chicken salad or you eat a bowl of oatmeal with fruit and flax seeds and, and and stuff like that on top or you have like a smoothie 
It is going to fill you up physically, but then like nourish your body as well and give you energy so that you feel full, you feel fueled, and then you're not gonna be like constantly trying to snack, snack, snack and eat more because the food did what it needed to do. It, it fueled you up, okay? You feel, you feel great, you feel ready to go. So start eating healthier. Even if you start incorporating just, I don't know, when you're going to the store, this is what I always tell people because they're like, oh, when I'm at home and I want a snack and uh, I don't want to go and make a whole thing. So when you're at the store, just buy like a pack of strawberries or buy some other type of fruit that you like or just like buy some healthier alternatives, healthier snacks that you can easily make or just you don't have to make it, you can just eat it. So when you are at home and you want to snack, you just snack on that and that will start your train. That's a good way to start eating healthier than because just making the switch fully to eating completely healthy and all this stuff when you've been eating this certain way for a long time, it takes some time, you know? It's like you have to, it's a gradual experience. It's a gradual process. So yeah, start by eating healthier, start by snacking healthier, like buying more healthier foods in your stores, colorful foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, get your grains, get your seeds, get things like that. Stop buying sodas, oh my God. Oh my gosh, stop drinking sodas. And I'm not even trying to necessarily tell you what to do, but like, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's, I need you to look up how much sugar is in like a bottle of soda, how much like white processed sugar. It's insane. Like it's literally insane. It makes you feel like crap. And it's just not good for you. Like buy fruit juices, buy like kombuchas, get like coconut water, stuff like that. Infuse your water with fruits. Do things like that or just, just try to cut out soda. Soda is, ugh. It's just, it's, it's not it, it's not it, okay? So eat healthier, start eating healthier, start incorporating more fruits and vegetables, colorful foods, foods that charge you up, that fuel you up into your diet. And the last simple way that you can improve your life is embrace your creativity. I believe that we should be creating every day, whether it's cooking a really nice meal or, you know, doing your makeup really nice, doing your hair really nice, like styling your outfit for the day, drawing, writing music, singing, making videos. Like there's so many creative things that you can do. And when you are creative and you're just like in that flow and you're, like I said, it doesn't need to necessarily be for monetary value. Like you could just create Create just to create and it taps you into your inner child it taps you into your flow of like when you were just freely making stuff that you truly enjoy not trying to make it to get a certain grade you're not trying to make it so people like it and buy it like you're literally just creating just getting your your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings and your love and your passion out onto whatever your canvas may be and maybe being creative is one of your hobbies like i mentioned before and if that's so try to incorporate being creative into your life like every week honestly as much as you can as much as you can like what if it makes you happy which i hope it does try to incorporate it into your life as much as you can like find little pockets and little ways that you can be more creative you you're getting ready and you're like wow maybe if i like do something a little different with my makeup than i normally do it's like oh cute and you just like merged in a little creativity into your already makeup routine that you do or like you're making food and you're you're doing whatever and you're like oh maybe if i like garnish it with some cilantro and then maybe if i like put some, I don't know, something else on top of it to make it look pretty and taste nice. That's like another way to be creative. Or, you know, you're just walking, you're on your daily walk, you know, we're we're incorporating these together. You're on your daily walk and you just start humming to yourself because you write music and you sing, you start humming to yourself and you come up with like a little melody and then you just, I don't know, take out your phone, your voice memo and just record it. Or maybe you have come up with little lyrics and write it down, do it. Do whatever you need to do. Let those creative juices flow. Let that out of your body. Don't leave that inside of you, festering inside of you because it's gonna come out one way or another. I know people who, they're all about work. They just go to work, they work all the time, they hate their job, but they go because they need to make money. But they're truly deep down artists. Like they're literally artists. They're so creative. Like you go to their house and it's like a masterpiece. And they're like, oh yeah, this is like nothing. It's like, no, this is you being creative. You don't want to admit it or embrace it. I don't know why, but like this is you being creative and like embrace that. You know what I mean? Like find little ways for you to embrace your creativity. Like I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be your job or the way you make money, but find ways to be creative throughout the day, throughout your life, and you will feel so much better. You'll just, it just adds more color and life and vibrancy to yourself and then to your life. And that energy that you're cultivating within yourself will then flow out to other people. And you're just like a beacon for happiness and love and life because you're feeling creative. Your creative juices are flowing. You're feeling good. You're, you're just, you're radiating that energy, okay? So let's recap and go back over everything. These four simple things that you can do to improve your life. So you're gonna go on daily walks. You're going to find a hobby and do your hobbies, right? Find a hobby, do it. Make time for it every single week. Eat 
healthier. Eat healthier, eat healthier, eat healthier, more color on our plate, more fruits, more veggies, nuts, grains, this, that, like eat healthier. When you eat better, you're going to feel better. You're going to think better and you're just going to be better. Okay. And then embrace your creativity. Embrace it. I know you're an artist. Okay. I know you have artistic abilities inside of you. Okay. Let them out. The world needs to see them. The world needs to hear them. You need to feel it. Let it out. Embrace your creativity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want you to feel your happiest, healthiest, and most confident because when you feel good and you're radiating that energy, you literally spread it out to other people like you are changing the world by loving yourself more and by feeling your best and don't we want to live in a world where everybody feels amazing i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye